Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer and welcome to the farm vlog today. We've got our PVC pipe all together to start building on our chicken tractor, but that's not going to be the vlog today. We didn't get the farm ball tractor running, but that's not going to be the vlog today. We still got to do a service on the backhoe, but that's not the vlog today. The old Ford tractor here still needs to be cleaned up and serviced, but that's not the vlog today. The Jeep's still not running and the John Deere is running, but that's not the vlog today either. They both need to be fixed. Our garden looks like Jurassic Park. But that's not the vlog today. There's 60,000 pounds of chicken poop in here that needs to come out. But that's not what we're doing today. Our baby chicks are doing great in their mobile coop. And this coffee's delicious. And this isn't the vlog today either. Here's what we're doing today. We had a breakdown, a bad breakdown. If you caught that video earlier, if you didn't catch the video, it'll be right here. We had a bad breakdown. I was getting ready to mow hay. I had all my camera equipment set up, everything set up and the transmission or gearbox blew up in this thing. So I got everything lubricated and I got everything ready and I went out to mow hay and I drove across the farm and I dropped the hay bind onto the ground. I started hitting the grass and then pow! Let me show you what blew up. So right here is what blew up. I took the gearbox out of this hay bind and removed it and over here is where the gearbox was. And you can see I've been in there working. Right there is the shaft that it connects to, and here is the shaft that it connects to. So the hay bind is busted. Well, I called New Holland to see if I could get a replacement gearbox. They don't sell a replacement gearbox because this thing is kind of dated. So they can sell it piece by piece. Just the casing for that thing cost $800. So I phoned a friend. I called my stepdad, and my stepdad's name is Barry. I called him up. I said, dude, I, my hay bind exploded. He's like, you remember I told you I got one kind of similar to yours over there in my scrap pile? I was like, uh, just started smiling. He said, go over and look and see if that transmission will fit. It fits. So today, we pulled the tires off of his hay bind, and he has a nine foot hay bind, and we're gonna see if these tires will hold air. Let me show you. So today's video is gonna be about getting the hay bind back to the house. It's a nine foot wide hay bind, which equates to about 13 feet wide on the road. So it's nice, it's cool out. It's early on a Saturday morning. We may have to do it on a Sunday morning. I'm not sure, probably get up early, early tomorrow morning and tow this thing back. It's about a 15 mile trip and the biggest issue is these tires. So these are the tires off the donor hay bind, and the tires are just dry rotted. I'm gonna get you a good close up here. Now a lot of you folks, a lot of you country folks, a lot of you farmer folks see dry rotted tires like this and think to yourself, just like I do, ah, oh, that thing's got plenty more time, plenty more years of use in it. Uh, the tires came off the rim when I pulled the old hay bind out of the woods and they are just super duper duper crusty. So what we've got to do is carry these tires to the tire store. So my local tire store, it's called Claybrook Tire. They have a special tractor tire section for tractor trailers and tractors and trucks and stuff like that. So we're going to carry these up there and see if they can get them mounted back up. I don't know if they'll let me use a camera in there. A lot of those guys know about the vlog so maybe they'll let me use a camera but if not we'll tell you all about how they get them mounted back up and basically all we've got to do is move this thing around we just have to get it 15 miles down the road we're going to be towing it at about 25 to 40 miles an hour so it doesn't have to hold up that much it just has to be safe for highway travel so let's go to the tire store and see what they do and then we'll go check out the hay bind i'll show you what it is and we'll get the tires mounted up my favorite sound in the whole wide world Love that 24 valve coming sound, baby. Tire store is only about five minutes away in my local little town, so trusted tire store, trusted place, awesome stuff. So folks, we live on a state maintained dirt road here in North Carolina. And the highway just came and fixed our road up after a big storm. Check it out, it's awesome. They widened it out a little bit and put a bunch of gravel down. Nice. Now for all you folks that want me to put my seatbelt on, you put your seatbelt on, young man. I'm on a dirt road. I'm going 20 miles an hour. Give me a break, it's okay. Someday the mountain might get up with the wall. Making their way the only way they know how. 
the last good old boy tire store in America. Went in here and I even helped them out cleaning up some of the beads on these tires. They're a little bit dry rotted, but we got them solid. Hopefully we'll be able to make the trip back from my stepdad's house. Like I said, we're gonna be going probably about 30 miles an hour. That's what these tires are rated for. So we're gonna get this machine back to the house. We're gonna to have to do this early Sunday morning. So we'll get these tires back to the house and we'll get some other projects taken care of. And then we'll take the tires up early in the morning, mount them up on the hay bind, and get that thing pulled back to the house when it's not a lot of traffic, probably 6 a.m. on Sunday morning. All right, it's Sunday morning and I got up at about 5 a.m. this morning, left the camera at home, totally forgot, but I put the tires on this old hay bind right here, and this is the hay bind that we're gonna be using for parts to repair the one that we have. So I went to my stepdad's place. It's about, mm, I'm gonna say, a normally a 15 minute drive, but we had to haul this thing back at about 30 miles an hour. It is super duper wide. It is a nine foot hay bind, and let me show you just how much space it takes up in the road. So we had to take up basically the whole road all the way back, and we only ran into two cars, which was super awesome. We only passed two cars. You can see here, this is the standard size pickup truck here, and that's how far out to the side it sticks. Let me walk over here and give you a little perspective. So it sticks out six and a half feet further than the standard pickup truck. So in other words, I'm watching this mirror right here the whole way and I'm watching mailboxes and stuff like that. I've got to keep the tire on the very far right, right on the line and be careful because that thing will hook mailboxes, it'll hook cars, it'll hook anything you ride by. So you really, really have to be conscious. When I did encounter a car coming to me, I just pulled off to the side of the road and let them come by. I had two cars get behind me and two or three cars, I think, come at me. So that's kind of how we handled that this morning. Now I'll take you back here and I'll show you the gearbox and I'll show you what I've done so far on the other hay bind. We've already pulled the gearbox off the old hay bind and we're going to pull the gearbox off the parts hay bind in the next vlog or two or three and we're going to replace the gearbox. I'll talk to you a little bit about what we did here. So this is a New Holland 474 and this is a New Holland 492. The 492 is just a bigger hay bind. It's probably a nine foot hay bind, nine or ten foot hay bind, but both of them have the same cabinet. So that's the cabinet on the 492 and that's the cabinet on the 474. Inside this cabinet, I'll take you a little deeper in here and show you we've already pulled the transmission out or the gearbox. So inside this gearbox is where it all goes, where it all mounts up. Now let's go over here to the other hay bind. Just very lucky, very blessed that we had this laying around on the other farm as part. So this is the gearbox on the donor hay bind right here and this is one heck of a hay bind those tires they look kind of rough when we first put them on but man they they don't look too bad i'm almost inclined to see if this hay bind will work if this one will do the job and instead of repairing the seven foot hay bind which is a whole lot cleaner and nicer maybe we can get the nine foot hay bind to work and use it so it's a little bit worn, but it's just been sitting out in the weather. The cutter bar looks good on it. Everything looks pretty good on it. So who knows? So folks, be sure and stick around. We'll show you fixing this thing and getting it back working, getting the uh, 474 running, or maybe we'll tinker a little bit with the 492. It might be too far gone, I don't know. But at least we've got parts now for our 474 forever. So that's kind of cool. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Be sure and pound that like button, subscribe to the channel so you can watch more fun stuff like this on the farm with me. And we'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farm. All right. Woo! Land of the free and the home of the brave. I'm proud of who I am and I'm proud of what I made on a Stony Ridge. Bonus footage. Guys, this is my sprinkler and it's out in the garden. It's sprinkling and watering my garden. It's coming out of my well from my ground on my farm, which I paid for, and we don't have a water shortage around here. So before all you folks that have water shortages and think that I'm wasting water, start running your mouth about me watering the garden, don't worry about it. It's my food, it's my water. I'm not watering my lawn like you are. I'm watering my garden, food for my family, with my well that I drilled with my money on my farm. All right? <laughs>